Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Brown. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. We are almost 100,000 strong, and that is incredible. So thank you guys for sticking around and supporting me and loving me through this journey. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to add volume to your hair without teasing or too much heat. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it with my blow dryer and with a clip, which is <laughs> kind of weird, but you'll see, you'll see what I mean. Uh, wow, this is uh, fun. Welcome. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I use the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum all the time. And I love this stuff. But today I wanted to try the generic value products from Sally Beauty, which is comparable to this. So I am going to, this stuff smells so good. Like, I don't know if this will smell as good. That stuff is really clean. Um, I love it. This stuff almost smells identical. It really does. So I'm gonna put just two drops. It smells good. I mean, on the back of the bottle, it says like the same ingredients. Okay, it looks the same, it feels the same. This stuff helps with so many things. If you live in a very humid state and in the summertime, you, your hair just is a frizz ball. I highly suggest a serum. This stuff helps with humidity so much. Um, and it takes away all my frizz that I do have because if I let my hair air dry, my hair is pretty frizzy. And then it detangles, it's a heat protectant. It does a lot of things, so. It nourishes your hair, whatever. So I'm just taking a wet brush right now and I am just brushing very lightly. As you guys can tell, I do start at the bottom of my hair and then I move my part up just so I don't break my hair because when your hair is wet, it's in the most fragile state. Okay, usually too, um, I will use the Smooth Infusion from Aveda if I want something really smooth. Say if I'm wearing my hair straight that day, I will use this. I also use the Aveda Daily Hair Repair. This is the Damage Remedy line. Sometimes I'll use the Damage Remedy line too. That's my daughter in the background. <laughs> um, if I want like super, if I feel like my hair is really, really compromised, I'll use this. I feel like it does similar things than the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. This does have different proteins in it. Um, it's really good for that. I sometimes just use it on my ends too. So today I'm going to just take the smallest amount and just work that on my ends. Now we are going to blow dry. Let's go. So now that my hair is almost all the way dry, pretty much all the way dry, I usually puff up this front part right here and then I'll put it on the cool setting. So now that that was set on the cool setting, that body will stay at my roots. So because I'm not gonna style my hair right now and I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna take an alligator clip and go way back here and kind of fluff this up and then let this sit while I do my makeup. And then I'll come back and do my hair in a little bit. I did my makeup kind of, I mean, my hair looks very frizzy because I blow dried it without a brush <laughs> and then kind of let it sit. So I've allowed this little poof thing to be up here for about like two hours. So I still have the volume that I want. Yes, okay. I'm going to section my hair to the very bottom and we're just gonna straighten everything. Um, hello, you guys wanna see the progress of my grout of my undercut? We're getting there. We are so far, but yet so close. <laughs> so I've been growing it out since, I believe November. November was the last time I got it cut. 
So I'm gonna be using the new classic flat iron from Croc. This is has the infrared technology. My infrared is on and it's also at 330 degrees. I'm doing a very low temperature today because I want kind of flowy hair and voluminous hair, but I don't want it too bendy. I'm gonna be curling my hair with my flat iron today. So I wanna make it as a uh, flowy as possible. So then for this next section, I'm gonna straighten it as well. So I'm gonna add a little bend to the bottom so that it just kind of bends in. I love this flat iron too because you can seriously get straight in there and get so close to your head and then just bend your hair wherever you want. I find with the thicker straighteners, um, when they have like, this is thicker, you know, like the outside and it's more like round, I find that it's a little harder to manipulate um, and get like the most bang out of your buck for a flat iron with this one. It literally can sleek your hair down so, so well. Um, and then curling it is a breeze with this. You still have the thickness because it's a one and a half inch, but it gets right in there for that sh us short haired women who can't like get right up to the roots on the bottom. Now let's see, I'm probably gonna part my hair here today. This is what it's gonna look like. So I'm just gonna section this part away so we're just gonna make sure that that bend is still in there. I want the back to look super sleek because I do have a stacked bob right now. So the back goes straight. At least the back, this section does. Now let's add some curl. So I'm gonna take my flat iron, take it at an angle, twist back, and then let the ends kind of just stick out just like that. So curl back. And then sometimes on these front pieces, I like to straighten the ends uh, just because they are longer and I want them more straight at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and straighten these ends before I curl. And then we will curl that back. But do you see how it's just just a little wispy. I'm gonna do the same thing with this section is I will flat iron just these end pieces. We'll take a section, just add a bend at the top, another bend here. We're just gonna keep on going until all of them have just a slight wave bend in them. So it has like a bend instead of a curl. If you want, you can curl these guys under. So it kind of, instead of sticking straight out, curls under just a little. So I'm gonna actually turn my curling or my flat iron upside down away from my face and add a curl there. Flat iron these ends. I just like framing my face like that and then with these, I just kind of manipulate my hand to still be at that angle going forwards. Okay. Flat iron these ends really quick. And then we'll just finish off with that tiny section at the top. Okay, now that we are all done, I am gonna take the generic brand uh, dry texture spray. Uh, it's called Volume Building Oil Control and Finishing Spray. <laughs> Compared to Kenner Platinum Dry Texture Spray, <laughs> like whatever. Um, 
this stuff works really good. So I'm literally gonna like move my hair all around, spray it all in there just to give it something to hold on to because we want a lot of texture. Okay, and then we'll just move the hair around with your fingers, kind of put it in place of where you want it. Okay, and then I am gonna take the air control hairspray from Aveda. This is their light hold hairspray. Oh, this is my favorite light hold hairspray in the world. I love it so much. So I'm just gonna manipulate little pieces of where I want my curls to sit. Since we're not doing any tees, this will make sure that everything is held together. All right, here we go. Just a very bendy hairstyle. Not super curly, but you have that volume without tees. Um, I think that the key is when you have your blow dryer, really try to blow dry your hair straight up or the opposite way of where you're wearing it and then cool it. Cool it for as long as you can so that your hair is at room temperature or cooler so that it stays in that position. Um, and I do think that the extra support of the clip of like putting it up um, definitely helps too because I just feel like I have so much bouncy body up here and I love that. All right, and this is it, the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was very helpful and informative. I will see you guys in my next one.